So you mentioned, uh, you know, your coaching staff a few times already. And, uh, you know, do, do you run your program as if you get the some assistants in there and they can kind of handle more of the day-to-day instructional and you can sit back and manage? And <laughs> is that by design? And is it, you know, is it getting those former players where you're able to do that? Because I think for a lot of coaches that are in it for the long haul, I think that's how they envision things. Yeah, I, I kind of let those guys do the day-to-day things. These guys are young. They're enthusiastic. They bring energy to practices. And, okay, Coach Byron, what do you want to do today? And he, we text each other during the day. And, and as long as I was okay with it, that's what we did. Yeah, so the, all three of those guys are great kids. You know, my son Garrett and, and Kevin Zach, they're all in their early 30s or late 20s. So. It's uh, they bring a lot of energy and Coach Beaton, our pitching coach, is just, he's been with me now for I think 13 years. He's just a super guy to be around, and he takes care of all the you know when he when guys are throwing bullpens and that type of thing. So I've I've been really blessed over the years. I've had coaches like Mike Koseski who played at Michigan State for 10 years. I had Scott Coleman who played college ball and plays baseball with me in my Detroit MSBL league. So I've been very blessed with a lot of great coaches. You know, I had one kid at the, that played at Novi that was with me, Ryan Smith as well. So, again, it's been just a great run, a great ride. And, again, I couldn't have done it without these coaches and without those great players.